Okay, my Married at First Sight Australia Season 10 fans. I got the video that I have been speaking of. If you saw my recap for episode number 20. And also my recap from, I think it was episode number 18. That we were going to talk about a couple things. Um, first thing was the situation where Dan went missing. And Sandy was like oblivious to where he was. Well, there was information leaked about that. And then we also had what actually happened regarding the whole butt dialing situation and the timeline and was he with his daughter or was he just with the friends or the guys we're gonna talk about all that because um yeah a lot of stuff that came out and was leaked text so Let's go ahead and jump into this. First, without any further ado, the introduction. Welcome back to Romance Review TV. It's Lady T. Got another update video for you guys regarding Dan, Evelyn, and Sandy from Married at First Sight Season 10. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and unpack all of this. So as we have seen, Sandy has been caught up in scandal after scandal labeling her husband actually a dumb C-U-N-T in leaked text messages. Now, you know, Sandy was upset with Dan after finding out that he wasn't romantically interested in her and was going to go out of his way to avoid spending time with her, according to what was told. And we got to send a shout out to Daily Mail Australia. Now, uh, the true extent of their problems hasn't been revealed up until it came out on February 27th, where it's showing the explosive text where Sandy actually lashed out at her husband after she discovered he was actually spending time with Harrison next door. And the messages had begun with Sandy asking Dan, where are you? And after saying he was in the suite next door with Harrison, Sandy replied, well, why are you there? Calling him a dumb C-U-N-T. I'm going to bed. Good night. And of course, Dan was shocked saying, okay, I can't remember ever being called a dumb C-U-N-T before. Good night, Sandy. Sandy's subsequent calls to Dan, of course, went unanswered before he asked a crew member to book him into another hotel for the night. And, of course, she was allegedly begging him, Dan, come here, please. I need to talk to you. What are you doing? And the messages go on and on. And if you wanted to stop and read that, you can. I list it there. And also, not only shout out to Daily Mail UK, shout out to MAFS or Mavs Gossip over on Instagram. Go over there and follow them as well because they definitely keep everybody up to speed. But yes, the messages begin with Sandy asking her husband, where are you? After saying that he was in the suite next door with Harrison, she replied, why are you there calling him a dumb C-U-N-T? I'm going to bed. Good night. So I know we saw in episode 18 where she was actually so upset. She didn't know where he was and everything. Well, unfortunately, just like everything else. And you know, I like to keep you guys updated because we do objective commentary over here. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. But obviously it does give, a, you know, an idea that the fact of how their marriage is at this point or their relationship. Let's move on. So now that leads us over to episode 20, which was on March 1st, regards to that whole butt dial scandal. And it's been reported based on leaked text. It revealed that it was fake as Rupert admits that the phone call never happened. So now the leaked text messages emerged that cast doubt on the butt dial scandal that, of course, rocked the whole dinner party this week. And we got those damning screenshots obtained by none other than Daily Mail Australia appear to prove that the whole storyline was staged by, of course, production. Now, in the text messages, Rupert admits that the phone call his wife Evelyn supposedly overheard when he pocket dialed her on boys night never actually happened. The whole accidental butt dial was that major talking point on this episode. And Dan had allegedly told the other grooms his wife Sandy wasn't his type and also bragged about previous conquests. And here's the text messages. And it's pretty interesting as well. 
that when you look at the text messages, according to what Evelyn said on the episode, it happened between the hours of eight and nine, when actually the text message went out around 3.30 in the afternoon, where we see Dan telling Rupert that he was going to be on his way to meet them at that point. Plus, his daughter was actually staying there as well. So it's also listed. You can, again, hold or pause if you want to check it out and read all of this. But the daughter was there. He actually spent time with the daughter. The daughter did take a nap. However, what was said in the episode versus what's actually in those text messages also state the opposite and then two there is a clip and i don't know if you guys passed it i might have talked through it but the thing is is that there is also a clip showing that the music was so loud that you could barely hear the other boys in person how could you actually hear anything through a butt dial with as loud as the artist was playing when they went to you know that particular bar plus it was still daylight that's the other thing eight or nine o'clock I'm assuming could be light in Australia. I know they're on the opposite end of the planet concerned with where we are here. It gets dark early in the northern hemisphere. But according to Rupert, it never happened. So yeah, I know that a lot of fans were upset with Dan. It made him out to be a liar. And of course, the experts are also part of this whole thing. So they framed him and his and that whole conversation of him, you know, being this gaslighting individual. Now, am I on Dan's side? I'm on the side of the truth because if Dan actually said these things, of course, I wouldn't endorse that. So I want to let you guys know, what are you doing taking up for Dan? If this was Dan, just like I called Claire out, I called Claire out. We talked about Harrison. We did all of that. But if the truth comes out, I'm going to talk about it. So like I say, we do everything objective over here. And if Rupert is now coming out saying that it didn't happen, this was all part of the, you know, setup for this. And it looked like Evelyn was the one acting more than anything, especially at the end of episode 20, when she was trying to trigger Dan a response, but he some kind of way got out of that, you know, and then she said that he should win the Academy Award. Go figure. But you know, I wanted to get this information out to you guys. Any new details about anything, if you follow me here or subscribe, you know I keep you guys updated. And that's on all of the shows that I do recap. So let me know your thoughts. So I hope you enjoyed this recap. Stay tuned for other recaps and updates on this channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.